Hi there, this is Amish from Pixim Perfect and how are you? So today we're gonna learn two techniques to really rev up your cloning skills in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in the mystical world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download any of the photos used in the video, make sure to go ahead and check the links in the description. So here we have an image and suppose you want to remove the chains from this man, the man is wearing. And by the way, he looks like designer from Panda, doesn't he? Uh, by the way, have you listened to the song Panda? It's, it's a really, I don't know what adjective to use for that song. It's a really, um, go and hear it for yourself. Panda, P-A-N-D-A by designer. Okay, so to remove the chains, what we would normally do, create a new layer and then select the clone stem tool, right? We select the clone stem tool, we sample this area by holding the alter option, clicking on this area, and when we line it up, it just kind of messes up. So what do we have to do? We have to rotate the sample. And to rotate the sample, instead of going to Windows and then Clone Source, you can always go there. What you can do, you can hold the alter option, Shift key, and then the right angle bracket key, okay? or the left angle bracket key. Shortcut is on the screen, look at it carefully. Right angle bracket key, left angle bracket key, along with alter option and shift. So hold the alter option and shift together and then keep on pressing or keep it pressed, hold down the right or the left angle bracket keys. And if you hold it down, it just kind of rotates. There we go. And once it rotates and once it just fits in, all you have to do just Take a sample and just paint on it. There we go. Isn't that wonderful? Now you again take a sample, make the brush a little softer. How do you do that? Hold the alter option, right mouse button, drag it up to make it softer, and drag it down to make it harder. So make it soft a little bit and just take a sample from here and shift, alter option, hold that and this time the left angle bracket key. There we go. Keep it pressed. If you press it once, doesn't happen much. Just keep it pressed, hold that down, and it rotates slowly. There we go. And once you remove that, you can easily go ahead and remove these stuff. Very easily, that's easy. And if you wanna access this control, so if you wanna do that manually, you can always go to Windows, and then Clone Source. And there you have it. This is rotating. When we hold the Shift and Alt, and press the angle bracket keys, see these changes gradually, and let me show you one more trick and you can go ahead and remove the whole chain. It's easy. To the next example. Now in this example, let's just tuck it in by pressing that button. If you want to remove this, say, right, the symbol right here. So create a new layer and then what would you do? Clone stamp tool and we'll reset everything. If you want to do that, go to Windows, Clone Source and click on the reset button. It resets everything. So if you take a sample from this by holding the alter option, clicking on this area, what happens is this area also comes along. If you want to take a sample from bottom, that area also comes along, it kind of messes up. What you can also do here, I don't know how you are going to use it, but this is going to be useful. Hold the alter option and shift and the bracket keys. Shortcut is on the screen. Alter option, shift, bracket keys to make the sample larger or smaller, to scale the samples, okay? So if I take a sample from this, okay? Let me take a sample from this and here. If I wanna make it bigger and just paint it here. So what I would do, Alt, Shift, and the bracket keys to make it bigger. See, it's becoming bigger. And when you make it bigger, have a look here. This is also growing, it's 128%. Now when you paint it, it is bigger and all of it should go. We painted a little extra there, so we can always do that. So that was the trick. Let me show you what exactly happens because it might not be clear to you in this example. So I have another example, maybe this one. Let's take this image and just drag it in here. And for example, if you think that this area is missing a petal, what you can do, you can create a new layer and then take a sample of this petal and by the way, you can create sample across documents. So if you take a sample from here, you can also paint with the sample in this image. So that's something you can do. So take a sample of this one and you want a big one here. So what would you do? Alt, Shift, Alter Option and Shift and the bracket keys. Just keep it pressed and it becomes larger. And once it becomes larger, you can just go ahead and paint it once there to all right. 
a little larger just like this not too much there we go something like that and then rotate it a little bit so that it doesn't doesn't look really fake or copied so alt shift angle bracket keys rotate that there we go and just paint it as simple as that now you can use the transform tool to do all that kind of other stuff control command t and you can do stuff you can just rotate it maybe invert it flip horizontal or flip vertical and you're pretty much good to go so that's how you can really go ahead and customize the clone stamp tool but do not forget once you're done do not forget to reset that if you do not reset that in other images the effects that you did the changes that you made will replicate and you don't want that to happen and if you want to know more about the clone stamp tool, I've created a very in-depth video all about the clone stamp tool with all the blend modes and the settings that you can apply. Check out the video right here. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.